What's up guys, today's video is the third in a four part series on LEGO Gears, and today I'm covering Conical Gears. Today I'm going to be discussing Conical Gears. They're just like a bevel gear that's been cut in half, where the edge of their teeth is cut on an angle, and they get their name because they're vaguely cone shaped, where the gear is wider at one end and narrower at the other end. They can only be used in 90 degree connections, they can't be arranged with the uh, shafts parallel in a straight line and they can be paired with other bevel gears or other conical gears within the Lego system. There are only two types of Lego gears in the conical family. There is the 12 tooth gear which is pictured on the left and the 20 tooth gear which is pictured on the right and of course the light gray gear at the extreme right is also a 20 tooth just a different variation. This one lacks a cross hole so it floats freely on an axle. And of course there are tons of possible combinations that you can have with these types of gears. Of course mixing and matching conical to conical and conical to bevel. So here they are. You can have a 12 tooth gear driving another 12 tooth gear for a 1 to 1 90 degree ratio. And this can be conical to conical or bevel to conical. Here I'm showing one bevel and one conical. Next you can have a 20 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear. Again you can have either both conical or one bevel and one conical and I'm showing both here and then one final one that I'll give you is a 36 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear this is going to give us a gear ratio of 1 to 3 and this is a 36 tooth bevel to a 12 tooth conical there is no such thing as a 36 tooth conical and I recommend using a 12 tooth conical because it just fits into the Lego system better it very nicely fits into the beam frame as shown here Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.